Friday Night Baseball on Apple TV Plus, presented by Chevrolet. A scorching day in Cincinnati, appropriate for the red-hot play of the Cincinnati Reds. Tonight, they welcome the first-place Milwaukee Brewers for a significant four-game division series. It's also a significant day across baseball. Lou Gehrig Day, the Iron Horse, passing away from ALS 82 years ago today, and whose legacy of courage is still at the forefront for those who battle it and those who research a cure. As we welcome you inside. Hi, everybody. Alex Faust, Ryan Spielberg's here with you wearing T-shirts in uh, honor of the day. And we'll talk about the significance of today as well. We'll hear from Trisha Whitaker in just a couple of moments. To the game at hand, though, and the Cincinnati Reds, a young team swinging the bat pretty well, not just giving glimpses of the future. They're playing terrific baseball. Yeah, they are building upon what they want to. And there's a lot of homegrown talent. There's a lot of young players that are swinging the bat well. We saw a fantastic road trip that they just finished off going 5-1. They swept the Cubs. They took care of the Red Sox. Matt McClay made his major league debut about two weeks ago. He's phenomenal. Fast, plays good quality defense at shortstop. And then you have players like TJ Friedel up the middle, also leading the team in OPS, has speed, can do the bunts, he can do everything. Then you have some, some players, a right-hand bat in Spencer Steer. He's leading rookies with extra base hits. He's also leading rookies in hits. He is phenomenal, and they're growing upon him as well. And then you look at the heartbeat. The lifeblood of this young upcoming team, Jonathan India, former Rookie of the Year. He doesn't strike out. He hits the ball hard. He's playing quality defense up the middle. There's a lot to look forward to with this group. And the Reds overall offensive production has been tremendous since May 5th. This is one of the hottest teams in Major League Baseball, having just won five of six, one of their best road trips in years. They take on a Milwaukee Brewers team whose bats have struggled all season long. They've had to rely on defense and pitching and tonight they'll have to rely on their ace once again in Corbin Bird. Yeah, Corbin Bird's phenomenal pitcher. It just hasn't been as good this season, but he's starting to show signs of it for us as we're watching Corbin Bird's his fastball command, the cut fastball, it's a devastating pitch. The first two games of the season got tagged close to a 10 ERA. It's a small sample size. Since then, he has been building momentum. His last start against the Giants looked phenomenal. And for Corbin Burns, over the last couple of years, this has been one of the league's premier strikeout pitcher. He's number one in strikeouts percentage at 33%. This year, not so much. He's down to 22%, and he's been struggling just putting guys away when he gets a two strikes. And the numbers don't lie. Burns has been one of the best pitchers in Major League Baseball over the last couple of years. The Brewers hoping to give him a little more support today in a ballpark that's been friendly to them over the years, trying to hang on to first place in the division as they face the Red Hot Reds and their rookie Matt McClain on this Lou Gehrig Day. Lineups and first pitch from Cincinnati coming up next. by playing in 2130 consecutive games. Then a fatal disease attacked baseball's Iron Man. In Yankee Stadium, touched to tears by the tribute, Gary made his last public appearance. For the past two weeks, you've been reading about a bad break. Today, I consider myself the luckiest man on the face of the earth. When you look around, wouldn't you consider it privilege to associate yourself with such a fine looking man as a standing in uniform in this ballpark today? That I might have been given a bad break, but I've got an awful lot to live for. Thank you. Lou Gehrig lost his battle with ALS 82 years ago today, the same day that 16 years earlier he embarked on that incredible Iron Man streak. And that historic speech that you just heard, that's one of the most iconic speeches in American history. It brought an awareness to the disease that now bears his name and forever enlisted baseball in the fight to end its cure. Last October, Sarah Langs, another member of the baseball family, she went public with her diagnosis of ALS at just 
just age 29. An MLB stats and research guru in 2021, she made MLB history as the game analyst on the sport's first all-female broadcast. Now she's been faced with the unforgiving progression of the disease. She intends to use her platform to educate and raise funds to find a cure. And on her birthday, on May 2nd, Langs launched a campaign fist bumps for ALS on social media. People who donate are asked to post a video or a photo fist bumping and then to nominate three others to do the same. The idea is similar to the Ice Bucket Challenge that ended up raising $220 million for ALS research. And as Sarah always says, baseball is the best. And today we are so proud to don these t-shirts made by Sarah Langs to support research for ALS. Sarah's story is just inspirational, and uh, she has the entire baseball world behind her for sure, Spilly. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, baseball is a fraternity. It's a special knit group, and, you know, you, you love on Sarah. You love on people and their family and the caretakers that are dealing with ALS. It's an insidious disease, and I, I just, you look at something that Sarah tweets out. You know, her day today, she mentioned Juan Soto has a 204 weighted runs created plus, which is the highest in Major League Baseball. She continues her life. She continues to inspire. Uh, and we're going to find a cure at some point. For sure. Zach Brown Band is going to be playing a benefit concert after the game today, hence the early start time this afternoon. And we'll dive into the story and the significance and their connection to ALS as well. Starting lineups are presented by MLB The Show 23. The Brewers lineup featuring Owen Miller, who's hitting 354 with 11 extra base hits in 24 games since May 1st. Miller currently has an MLB The Show 23 player rating of 76. And he is the fifth best average in the big leagues since May 3rd. Brewers have shaken up their lineup just a bit, trying to get these bats going. Darren Ruff is in the leadoff spot for them here today on a hot, hot afternoon in Cincinnati. Highs in the low 90s. Scorching conditions this late afternoon start as the Reds take the field. And their City Connect uniforms all black on a warm afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, those are all black, but they are fire. Brandon Williamson will tow the rubber for the Reds. Called up by Cincinnati on May 16th. This will be his fourth career major league start, Billy. I'm, in, I'm interested to see Williamson, former TCU draft pick, was drafted by the Seattle Mariners. This is his fourth major league start. Two have come on the road. They say he's a strike thrower in the minor leagues. He was striking out a lot of guys in the big leagues, not quite so much. And for Williamson, Throws a little bit of a cut fastball, is aggressive in the strike zone, just kind of needs to get through the first part of the lineup. And for Milwaukee, we said this about Milwaukee trying to figure out their lineup. They need to figure out a way to beat lefties. Here's a little spill the beans, get you into some of the keys to the game for Brandon Williamson. Knee deep, get through the first inning. These are some Zach Brown band songs. Get through the first inning and then settle in and out in the middle. They need to find a way to get some length. The Reds came in last night around 3 in the morning. Their bullpen has been used quite a bit on that nice road trip, so they want to see some length out of Williamson. Spill the beans, huh? Trademark pending. <laughs> StatCast is powered by Google Cloud. Let's take a look at the arsenal for Williamson. It's a cut fastball, the four-seam fastball off of it, the slider and the changeup. He will throw the occasional curveball, so he has a little bit of everything. The fastball, it's not going to overwhelm you with velocity, but he's six foot six from Minnesota. Grew up in, uh, in that part of the country, and for him, it's about deception. It's about throwing strikes and creating a little bit of angles for him to get in on right-handed hitters. All right, so just about ready to go here in Cincinnati. The Reds just three games back of the Brewers in the NL Central. Milwaukee just a half game up on Pittsburgh coming into the day. Williamson's first pitch is a strike to Darren Ruff, and we're off and running. 